Support Wrestle Talk. Donate on Patreon. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. Despite not being part of Survivor Series, thanks to the hashtag Facebreaker and hashtag Potato Thrower Nia Jax, Becky Lynch has been keeping up her Twitter game to remind everyone that she is indeed the man. And to make a nice change of pace, it wasn't Ronda Rousey that bore the brunt of Lynch's furious fingers, as her next Twitter target was Chris Jericho. Jericho thought he was doing a nice thing by tweeting out, congrats WWE for making women's wrestling the hottest thing in WWE, before giving credit to Lynch, Rousey, Jax and Charlotte Flair. Becky on the other hand felt that it was just her that should be given the credit, which, let's be honest, is basically correct. Jericho fired back by saying yes for sure, with an assist to Nia Jax for breaking your face of course. And this is where Becky pressed a series of buttons to execute her finishing tweet. The sucker punch drew blood for sure. Little known fact though, I actually got the concussion from trying to listen to your last album. Brutality. Lynch's Survivor Series sub, Charlotte Flair made headlines herself during one of the many nights where Raw and SmackDown go head-to-head -head in direct competition by turning heel on Ronda Rousey, beating her down with kendo stick and chair shots. Although just like Becky turning heel on Flair earlier this year at SummerSlam, the WWE crowd roundly cheered the person doing the attacking rather than the person being attacked. Despite, you know, Fans asking WWE to turn Charlotte Flair heel for months now. This is why we cannot have nice things. However, according to Dave Meltzer, WWE were not unhappy with how the angle was received. Meltzer reports on the post-Survivor Series Wrestling Observer Radio that nobody of importance was disappointed in the crowd reaction. Apparently the feeling backstage now is that WWE crowds will always react in a positive way whenever they see a big angle happen in front of them, regardless of if it's the right reaction or not. And the higher-ups in the company saw the Rousey Flair angle as a huge success. Success. Someone who wasn't happy with a Survivor Series angle, however, was Xavier Woods of New Day. Woods was part of the Survivor Series kickoff match, which saw all the WWE tag team standing round the ring, and was the only match of the night where SmackDown scored a victory. However, it was announced during the show that that result didn't count towards the final score, with the graphic showing that Raw won the night with a clean sweep of six to nothing. But Woods was quick to remind WWE and everyone tweeting about the show that the score was actually 6 to 1. Even tweeting, hey WWE, respect the tag division on both shows and let people know that SmackDown got a win tonight. The score was 6-1. Pre-show counts. But as it turns out, the score was supposed to be 7 to nothing. According to Dave Meltzer on the post-Survivor Series Wrestling Observer Radio, the original plan for the show was for Raw to get an undeniable clean sweep, winning every match on the card, including the kickoff show tag match. However, it seems those in charge of booking and planning out that elimination tag match weren't told this, and that's why SmackDown won. Meltzer reports the storyline was supposed to be a clean sweep for Raw, and somewhere in the communications process Says, don't ask me why, SmackDown won that tag match that so they had to tell everyone that it didn't count. One hand forgot what the other hand was doing. Vince wanted a clean sweep. And it turns out the reason for that raw clean sweep was to further play into the storyline of Shane McMahon turning heel. Not only did SmackDown get destroyed by Raw at the pay-per-view, it's also the third year in a row that the blue brand has been beaten by the clearly far superior Raw at Survivor Series, something that has been mentioned on TV by commentators. WrestleTalk.com are reporting that this storyline is tied into Shane McMahon winning the World Cup to determine the best in the world, which was the first step in a plan to turn Shane McMahon heel by going mad with power. This also ties into the other reports that The Miz is set for a babyface turn and the two will eventually feud. It's also being reported that Shane being in the 5 on 5 elimination match ahead of guys like Randy Orton, Rusev, AJ Styles and others will also factor into the overall story. What did Ollie Davis make of this week's Monday Night Raw? Click the video on screen right now to check that out, and click the other video to watch our Survivor Series Wrestle Ramble review. I've been Luke Owen, and that was wrestling.